Happy Thursday. How you doing, huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. How do I look? My entourage is not here. My entourage is at home entertaining our company. That's why I'm here. I snuck out. Grabbed a hold of my tripod, got all my stuff, and snuck out while they're on the porch. So I could come over here and just spend some time with you today. Because the rest of our life is the best of our life. Hey, we have got a great message for you today. This message today affects so many people. Turn to Galatians chapter 3. While you're turning there, don't forget about our website, IncreaseNow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen? Because that, that will alert you to all the stuff that's going on. And you can see all the new videos that are coming up. As soon as they're posted on YouTube, you will get to see them. There, you will get an alert. Amen? And we are getting a lot of people subscribing to us on YouTube. So we're growing. This ministry is growing. And this is probably one of, if not the only large ministry in this country where the minister is available to you. Huh? How many ministries do you know where you can call and talk to the minister? Not many, if any. Amen? And I am always available to my prayer partners, always. And you can become a prayer partner with me by going to our website, increasenow.com. And when you do, you can call me anytime you need me to pray. And people do. My phone literally rings all day long. And that's okay, because that's what I like. I love to pray with God's people. So share this video with everybody you know. Don't forget, when you do your offerings and donations today, to call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. What happens when people pray is the first thing I'm going to do is break every generational curse of sickness, disease, poverty, and lack in your life. Then I'm going to break the curse of the law, any curses of sickness, any curses of poverty, I'm going to break. And make sure you don't have any of that going on in your life. Then I'm going to activate the blessing. Then, what you do when you get off that phone with me for the first time, the curses have been broken and the blessing has been spoken. And that is huge, folks. That is huge because that puts you in the same position to receive from God as me and Kenneth Copeland and Keith Moore and Creflo Dollar and Joyce Meyer and T.D. Jakes puts you in the same position. Amen where you will be living, if you watch your words, you can live an unhindered life. And if you're living an unhindered life, let me tell you something, folks, your whole life is going to change. Amen? Hey, Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Go back and read Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verses 15 through 64, that is the curse of the law. And do you want to know what is very prominent in there? Debt. Debt. How many of you know that debt is crushing? It crushes you. It suffocates you. It just, it's like a, a, like a 20 foot python, a Burmese python that is wrapped around you. You know, when a, when a python wraps around an animal or a person or whatever, they don't squeeze real tight all of a sudden. They just wrap around. And then they begin to squeeze. They squeeze slowly. Slowly at first. Debt is like a python that is wrapped around your whole body and it starts to squeeze starts to squeeze and pretty soon it will literally squeeze the life out of you it 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 stopped 
You, it squeezes you so hard. You can, have you ever been squeezed so hard you can't breathe? I have. Do you know who did it? The Lord did it one time. He squeezed me. He hugged me. Have you ever been hugged by God? I mean, I was hugged by God. I was sitting in my chair at work. Years ago, I had just gotten there. I had some amazing experiences in that office where I worked because I was there by myself all day. I got there one morning and I was just praising God. And I would play my guitar and just praise God. And I was sitting there and all of a sudden, I felt something wrap around me and started to hug me. And it felt good and hugged me and hugged me. And the more he hugged me, the better I felt until he hugged me so, so tight. And I said, Lord, I can't take any more. And he relaxed. I had been hugged by God. Incredible experience, a life-changing experience. Believe me, when you're hugged by God, you've been hugged. Now we hug around here all the time. We always hug. Everybody in our church hugs. Amen. Family hugs. Everybody hugs. We hug. Huggers. We're huggers. How many of you know that born again, spirit filled people are huggers? I'll guarantee you when you go to church on Sunday, if you go to a born again, spirit filled church, you're going to see a lot of hugging going on. And it's good. Amen. Women hug women, hug women. Men hug women. Men hug men. We got men in there. We hug men hugging us. I hug the men in our church. Some of them. Some of them are not real big on hugging. That's okay. Amen. Some of them like to hug. <clears throat> Some of them, give me a hug. They just, they like to hug. Praise God. But when you've been hugged by God, you have been hugged. Well, that python, he's not like God. God doesn't, God, God doesn't, doesn't, doesn't squish the life out of you. And that's what a python does. And that's what debt does. Debt squeezes the life out of you. It squeezes the dignity out of you. It squeezes the self-esteem out of you. It squeezes your character out of you. It squeaks the goodness out of you. Squeezes. Just, just, ugh. We were crushed by debt. I'm telling you, crushed by debt. It's a spirit. I am totally convinced it is part of the curse of the law. It's generational. How many of you know that most people in debt now, their parents were in debt. Their grandparents were in debt. Now, years ago, 50, 60, 70 years ago, people didn't carry debt like they do now. They, our government and, and these companies have encouraged debt. I just got a notice a few months ago that the limit on my credit card has been increased. Now I can borrow more and take on more debt. I use a credit card. One credit card. I put everything on that credit card. I pay it off every week. Every week. I use it for our business. I do a lot of business online with all these software programs. You wouldn't believe what it takes to produce these videos and to get everything out for you. It takes a lot of software and a lot of uh, companies that work with me to help. And I use a credit card for all that stuff. And I pay it off every week. Every week. Amen? But I get points for it. Amen? I get some cash back. And that goes back into our operating account. Praise God. But they increased it. You know why they increased it? Because they want me to be more in debt. They want me to be more in debt. 
if you gamble, they'll increase your, they, they want you to be in debt. They like it when you're in debt. When you're in debt, they own you. They own you. We broke the curse of the law in our lives. Six years ago, six and a half years ago, see, June, July, August, September, October, November, six and a half years ago, it was June of 2013 when I, uh, when I, when, when the Lord showed me how to get the, get a hold of the blessing. And, uh, and the first thing you have to do is break the curse of the law. That's why everybody, when they call me the first time, the first thing I do with them, with them is break the curse of the law and every generational curse, because that allows the blessing to flow. The blessing cannot flow in your life until the curse of the law is gone. Because the curse of the law is the blessing blocker. Amen? The blessing and the curse cannot occupy the same space at the same time. And if the curse is there, the blessing cannot push it out. Nothing pushes out the curse. Nothing pushes out the devil and his minions except a commandment made in the name of Jesus by somebody with great faith in that name. Amen? Not everybody can do that. Everybody is not at the, at the place of faith where they can do that. But some are. Some are. I did it with myself. I have done it with thousands of people. I am literally getting the blessing into the lives of people, one person and one family at a time. When I go out to churches, which I do sometimes, I'll get that. When I leave that church, the blessing of Abraham is upon the entire church. We've had churches explode in growth after we've been there. Amen. One church, bless their heart, was meeting in, uh, in a casino out west in, in the big entertainment rooms. And, of course, everybody showed up to see me, which is wonderful. But what I did was I broke the curse in that church, spoke the blessing over that church, and that whole ministry exploded right after we left. Glory to God. Two months after we left, Jesse Duplantis, the, the ministry was so big, Jesse Duplantis came, came. Believe me, he don't show up unless there's a big place. A lot of people. Amen? Glory to God. Isn't it wonderful? That's what the blessing does. And I'll tell you what, when you break the curse of the law and that curse of debt in somebody's life and speak the blessing, the, 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 the debt dries up. When we did that over ourselves, five months later, I said to Mary one day, I said, this is five months after, it was like in June of 2013, we did a July, August, September, October, November. And about November, about six years ago right now, I said to Mary, I said, how much do we owe on our credit card? She said, nothing. I said, what do you mean nothing? She says, it's all paid off. Plus, we sold a house that we owed twice as much on as, as it was worth. And we didn't pay a penny. We sold it for what it was worth. Glory to God. Sold it for what we owed on it. We got it out. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? Let me tell you something, folks. That's what the blessing does. And she said, the, the debt's all gone. I said, huh, what happened? She said, I don't know. I just paid it off. I said, "How? where'd you get the money to pay it off? Pay off all that debt, all that credit card debt. She said, I don't know. It just came in. <clears throat> I said, I didn't see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. She said, I don't know. It just came. To this day, I couldn't tell you <clears throat> how she got the money to pay off that debt. <clears throat> but she did. Nobody gave us a big check either, folks. I, if, if, if we would have gotten a big check, I would have known, hey, I am out of time. Share this video with everybody you know. Don't forget when you do your offerings today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. And when you call today, if you are crushed by debt, if you've got debt going on, you call me. I want to break that curse of debt, that spirit of debt in your life. And I will do it and your debt will go away today. I love you very much. Have a wonderful day.